Well, the debate over taxpayer funding going toward abortions in Minnesota has returned. It's a perennial issue at the legislature that often stretches beyond partisan lines. The House voted 76 to 52 to block state-funded health care programs from paying for the procedures. The Senate took up the measure today. Democrats call it political in interference that would unfairly impact Minnesota's poorest residents. GOP lawmakers argued taxpayer dollars shouldn't go to a controversial procedure. There are many, many uh, in the state of Minnesota, uh, probably a million or two million people that find that absolutely objectionable and abhorrent, that they would be forced to pay for that procedure. There's a large majority of people that find abortion objectionable. Now, they might not want it illegal, but they find it to be <coughs> wrong. When you see the polling in that, it's a very large percentage, much more than a majority. And this amendment is about whether or not we're going to force them to pay for a procedure that they find, in many cases, to be immoral, at least objectionable. That's what the question is before us today. In each chamber, a handful of Democrats joined Republicans in trying to pass the measure, but the Senate voted narrowly to reject the amendments. That means it won't move forward. Brainerd Lakes Area Republican Senators Paul Gazelka and Kerry Rood each voted for the amendment to block state funding of abortions. Grand Rapids Area Democrat Tom Saxhog and Clearbrook DFLer Rod Scoy both voted to keep state funding of abortions. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.